We got fish back. I ate a lot of food before going live. My throat's a little, a little stuffy, so, you know. Talk about the FNAF movie. Um, let me tell you right now. Anyone who's seen this movie, feel free to tell me whether I'm right or wrong. But I feel like I've seen the FNAF movie without ever seeing the FNAF movie because I've seen enough movies to know that it's just going to be a lot of uh, a lot of references and an extremely loose plot that you could attach to literally anything that won't add to the movie but rather make it last longer and it'll make investors happy. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? I'll wait. Nope. Yeah, I'm wrong. The FNAF movie. I, I gotta listen to a little new mis uh new new little mosquito disease. I was gonna do that yesterday, but I ended up not doing anything yesterday. I ended up sleeping the whole day. I'm gonna go see it just for those movie theater fries. Yeah, dude, some movie theater food is pretty lit, so I don't blame you. Matt Pat's in the movie. I heard about that. It's that's probably why it's you know rated a ten out of ten. Rotten Tomatoes. I went on a whole Twitter rant about this. I'll just bring it up quickly now because I feel like talking about it in person definitely changes things. But this, people look at this and they think there's no problem with this. Okay. To be fair though, I did see uh, somebody posted a screenshot of the uh, Cuties. Rotten Tomatoes, where it was like 86 critic, critic score, like a 10 audience score, like a 10 out of 100%. And I was, you know, I, I could see how uh, occasionally the critics are right and the audience is wrong and vice versa. But I got to say, um, I definitely don't trust the audience score on this one, um, especially when it comes to movie franchise crap like this, especially after what I saw with the Mario movie. I trust the 10% who said they didn't enjoy it more than the 90% who did. Um, why are we reviewing the Five Nights of Freddy music? What is happening? I'm just talking about how the movie and critics and whatever. Anyways, my whole point on Twitter was saying that like I trust the critic score on uh, this site way more than I trust the critic score on this site. Where everyone gives New Taylor 100 and it's just claps all around. When it's just re-recordings of the same shit. Or whether it be... Like, if, if you just go to, like, the top critic albums of the year so far, they're all just so... Jamie Branch, Fly or Die. I mean, sure, this album, was, it's probably fine, you know? But is it the best album of the year? I don't know. Haven't listened. This one's pretty based. What's a good example here of what I'm looking for? Midski. Here we go. All right, haven't listened to the album. It's probably great. All right, everyone says they love it. That means it's probably terrible. All right, that's that's of course the point here. All right. Uh, I don't know. I I actually don't really have a point here. I guess the top rated stuff here actually does look kind of interesting. But that's okay. Hey. Honestly, what's the hype around Taylor? It's Beatles. Fan, uh. Fantasism at its finest minus the quality. What? What qualifies you as a top critic on album of the year? That's easy. I'm the most popular guy. So I'm the most interesting to listen to. Doesn't matter whether or not you think I'm right or wrong. You're curious what I have to say. Because people listen to me. Meaning that it sways the pendulum. What's nice about the Rotten Tomatoes critics is there's really none of that. Because, I mean, it's all just a hive mind collective there. Um, but yeah. You're a better critic than Fantano? Sure. Akushi 